All right, now as we celebrate Climate Week here in New York, Maggie Ruley has a story of a technology that could be a revolution in how we recycle. This is pure trash. This is food, dirty diapers, some plastics, paper, whatever you can imagine. 80% organic between paper mm. and food and about 20% plastic. At a facility in the Netherlands, UBQ Materials is transforming this waste into a brand new material that can be used to make a wide range of products from flower pots to car parts. Their tech could help solve the world's recycling problem. Right now, the world is making 460 million metric tons of plastic every year, and only about 9% of it has ever been recycled, according to the UN Environment Program. They just sent us, again, the garbage of the garbage. That's what we get. Taking trash and turning it into treasure. I think it's almost hard to wrap my mind around the fact that you take things like the dirty diapers. Yes, and the worst thing is we like them dirty. No. Can you believe that? <laughs> what UBQ does completely different, we use everything in your garbage bag. Albert led us upstairs to their destoners. So this is called a destoner. Where metals and minerals are separated from the waste, the only materials UBQ can't recycle. And where does this go? So the metals, the same people that send us the garbage love to take them back because oh, they're okay. worth money. When sorted, they use infrared technology to help them figure out exactly which materials are in each batch of trash before the final filtered product is sorted into its own silo. If something happens that you call the magic, your team calls science, exactly. um, it's happening on that side of the camera. We can't show it yes. because it's all very secretive. No yes. other company's doing this. Correct. So what's that process that's so secretive we can't show? Basically, we break it down into its components, turn it into the UBQ matrix, and then create this new material called UBQ. And that's what you make the pellets out of. What started as waste now compressed into these small pellets, their size allowing for easy transportation all over the world. Albert took us to demonstrate just how these UBQ pellets can be used to create household items like a flower pot. So again, chicken bone. And now look at what's going to come out of here. Wow, very cool. It seems like this is an amazing solution to this huge problem. So what's the holdup? Why aren't you opening up factories in every single state in America right now in every single country? Change is hard, okay? And think about it, in these big corporations, no one gets paid for changing. The big difference between before UBQ and after UBQ is that the citizen was being asked to do something that wasn't really working. The big difference now is that UBQ is a solution. It's almost hard to watch how much stuff yes. goes into those, and hopefully these changes will come. You can watch Maggie's full story tonight on ABC News Live Prime with Lindsay Davis.